A discussion about atrial fibrillation ablation is one of the most common ones that I have with patients these days. Broadly speaking, what it means is that we put catheters into the heart with the goal of finding the areas that trigger and continue your atrial fibrillation. When we find them, we try to cauterize or freeze those areas, thereby maintaining normal rhythm and making you feel better. Technically, an atrial fibrillation ablation involves the patient coming into the lab, being placed on a breathing machine and attended by anesthesia staff, so you don't feel anything during this case. Then a doctor like myself, a cardiac electrophysiologist, will come in and place catheters, usually at the veins at the top of the leg and maybe one up by the collarbone. Our catheters are like soft wires, they're guided up to the heart, and we create a sort of a three-dimensional electrical picture of your heart and its electrical components. Most atrial fibrillation is caused by problems in the left atrium, so we put our catheters there, find the areas that cause the problem, which usually are the pulmonary veins and other associated structures, and then we use our catheters to freeze or cauterize those areas, and that tends to stop the AFib and keep it from coming back in the majority of cases. The success rate of an atrial fibrillation ablation tends to vary by the amount of coexisting disease and the age of the patient. Generally speaking, the success rate of an atrial fibrillation ablation is about 60 to 70 percent for all individuals. For people who are younger and healthier, that probably is 70 percent or even better. For people older or with coexisting disease, that's when the success rates tend to come down a little bit more. Success has different definitions. A patient probably wants complete eradication of their atrial fibrillation. That's not always the case, especially as you get older, but it could be. What we like to define success is a major improvement of your symptoms, a dramatic reduction in the frequency of the atrial fibrillation. So even if it's not complete elimination, the success rate in that definition would be that both patient and physician are very satisfied with what they've done and where they are.